I wanted to start off just reviewing some of the basics of Adobe Acrobat DC. Now realize that for this course, there is that level expectation that you've used Adobe Acrobat in some way, shape, or form. And honestly, if you've used Adobe Reader, you're probably okay. But let's just get re-familiarized with Adobe Acrobat DC, the layout of the tools that you're going to be using, and just some of that basic knowledge so you're comfortable to get started. Hey everybody, so what I wanted to start with was an introduction to Acrobat DC, just, just covering the basics in case maybe it's been a while since you've used the software, uh, maybe you know it, you've gone through different versions, but ultimately you should have some experience in using Adobe Acrobat already, but let's just cover some of the basics here. So when looking at Acrobat with no files open, it looks very simplistic. It looks very broken down. Um, you have a recent files list spot here. Um, they're promoting actually their free app, which is Adobe Scan, a very cool mobile tool to allow you to use your camera on your mobile device to basically scan anything and turn it into a PDF. Highly recommended. Um, if you haven't downloaded that, just to give that a try, it can be um, a really convenient tool, especially if you're on the go, if you travel, um, if you're needing to scan any receipts. So definitely take a look into that. But where you see all the power with inside Adobe Acrobat is by selecting tools in the upper left hand corner. By doing that, you actually get um, a list on the right hand side and in the main screen. And what you'll notice with Adobe, a lot of the time, they present tools and options in multiple forms. So you'll be able to you know, click on an icon, you'll be able to click on a menu item, uh, and then in this case, you also have the right-hand menu to choose from. So they're all the same tools, they just wanna make it as convenient as possible for you to be able to go in and click what you need. Now when looking at these tools, they are broken up into a couple different categories. So we have create and editing tools, review and approval tools, forms and signatures, protect and standardize, and customize. So a lot of different options here, um, but just kind of running through some of the basics. You have uh, creating a PDF. You can actually start with a blank document here and create a single PDF document. Um, a lot of the time they want you to scan and grab something to start with, uh, just as some sort of starting option. You can merge multiple files together, combining them, creating a PDF portfolio, which actually organizes different types of files together, which we'll talk about that a little bit later in the course. You can grab a screenshot actually with Adobe Acrobat. Most people don't know that. Scanner, so using an actual scanning tool to be able to scan in a document. A web page, you can actually grab a URL uh, of a website and turn it into a PDF. Clipboard, so anything that you have on your clipboard that you've copied and pasted from another document. And kind of the odd one where most people don't think of, which is starting with a blank page. So when you do this, you actually have a white document, um, just like you would in Word, but using the tools of Adobe Acrobat to get started. So kind of an interesting spot. Most people don't go that route uh, to start working with a document, but realize that that's still an option um, if you'd like to build everything natively in the application. So I'm gonna click back on tools in the upper left-hand corner. Um, combining files, obviously allowing you to take multiple PDFs, uh, select different pages from them and combine them into one. Organize pages allows you to actually move pages around, delete single pages in a document, um, and, and just recategorize, move things the way that you want them to. This, this is a great option if you're going to uh, take maybe a couple large PDFs and merge them together. If you have extra pages in there you wanna cut out, um, it just gives you some great options. Editing a PDF, pretty straightforward. Exporting, enhancing scans, both those pretty straightforward, allowing you to uh, export as a different document type, uh, allowing you to scan in different document types. And then Rich Media, which is actually putting in audio, video, and interactive objects into a PDF. This is a little more um, advanced um, where, and uncommon, I guess I could say, that a lot of people don't use uh, PDFs to build out full multimedia functions, but realize that there are some of those things there. So what I've done is I've pulled up a basic form that you probably are all familiar with, or at least hopefully you are, um, a tax form, 1080 Individual Income Tax Form for the United States. 
The nice thing is that the IRS actually provides this document now as a workable PDF document. That means that you're actually able to go in here, you can get started, and basically start filling out the document as you would on paper if you're doing this by hand. Some of the benefits here are that you're able to type, so it'll be nice and clean. You're gonna be able to save and print this document, which we'll cover a little bit later, and allow you to have this document that's organized and, and very easy to read. As you've probably recognized, some forms have very small uh, spaces for you to type or, or write information. So by going in and typing that information out, it just looks that much better. What you'll notice is a pattern in any uh, PDF that's been prepared this way. Any blue highlighted, so this, this blue color here, um, any blue highlighted areas allow you to actually go in and start typing your response. There'll be a, a font choice and a size already chosen most of the time, but you can go in and just start making these choices and making changes. What you can also do is a lot of these checkboxes are actually set up as checkboxes. So where you would usually take a pen and, and either make a check or fill in the box or however it may be, you're gonna go through and be able to, to do these all digitally in this space. You can type numbers in here, which is great. It allows you to go back and edit. It allows you to make you know your choices, whatever it is. And as long as it's a blue uh, space, you can click in and start typing. So for putting in basic numbers, it's super effective, super easy, um, and allows you to stay organized. This form has most of these spaces completed for you already, so you're able just to go through as you normally would um, and start entering your numbers. Plenty of check boxes as well, so you could go through, check things, uncheck things if you accidentally um, did that, and basically it gives you a chance to, to review and edit without having to erase, cross out, white out. And that's really the biggest benefit of using an Adobe uh, Acrobat PDF is that you can kind of take your time, you can do what you need to do, you can make edits, um, and you're not getting frustrated having to print out this form over and over. So really the key thing to look at when you're doing anything with forms is it's gonna be blue highlighted, it's gonna be nice and easy and recognizable for you. You click in, you start typing, and you get started. So nice and basic. We're gonna take you into actually preparing this form now on a step further.